So I talked to Lee and Dennis a few weeks back um, in version one and they wanted to introduce me to some of their new technology. Um, and we talked about the challenge associated with really understanding the behavior of a new system or a modified system. So let me see if I can kind of paraphrase it. Um, on the software development side, we work with the user stories and features and these are text-based descriptions. Sometimes they're non-functional requirements. You know, the system has to handle this many users or handle transaction in this period. Um, and we and we speak in, 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 you know, English language terms about the behavior, the intended behavior of the system. But that stuff is all text on the development side. When we go to deploy, that, that, that becomes code. So we have to tie into our source code management system. Um, the code gets converted to binaries and it gets deployed as a binary. So when the binary is deployed, how do we really know what the system does? So they were asking me if there's any value in understanding that what gets deployed and how it's associated with the work that created. And I think there's quite a bit of value in that because I think as professionals, we're obligated not just to deploy stuff, we're obligated not to just say it would be cool if our system did something different. We're obligated to always be able to say our system does this. And we do that, we have to speak a natural language. We can't be parsing binaries uh, and, and, or even reading you know, test cases, automated test cases, to figure out what the system does. We have to be able to express it. So I think any technology that any of us can deploy to smooth that so that we on the development community at deployment time can say, my system does this, I think that increases our ability to really, you know, A, a act as professionals, B, communicate in business terms what the system does, and C, in the case of high assurance and high reliability systems, you don't really have any choice. The system has to do that, has to do that every time. It has to, do, it has to not do other things. That's what makes a high assurance system work. So I think as, as our DevOps community evolves, as our understanding evolves, the ability to s visualize the value, uh, in, in the terms that we use on the development side, to see that become value, to be able to have release notes that are created pretty quickly based upon the, based upon the input and what the system does, I, I think that's going to really smooth the process of development to deployment. And since we started by talking about the value stream, that's the thing we care about, how we get from the very beginning to the very end. DevOps, visualization of the work, DevOps, whatever, to whatever extent we can get automated deployment, to whatever extent we can automatically understand what we've deployed, in terms of behaviors of the system is going to be really valuable to those that, that struggle with the problem and in, in a sense we all do.